Chris, growing up in Africa as a little boy, way before I actually got my professional hunter's license, I scoured the bookshelves and read as many old hunting stories as I could. And a lot of those hunting stories, the guys carried a double with the traditional iron sights and beads in it. And unfortunately, like most things in the world today, technology is taking over. Well, that's true, but I, I'll say to that point that uh, in the rifle world, and double rifle world in particular, those technological advancements are really helping shooters. Now, I hear all the time that a scoped rifle or a scope on a rifle or one of the little red dot sights sort of ruins the lines of a traditional rifle. Well, they don't look that way traditionally, and, and more often than not, our response is that if truthfully they had had optics in the year 1900 made to the same quality that optics are today, you'd have probably seen a lot more double rifles with scopes at that time. So that's an, adva an advantage both of technology in the scope world and also the red dot sight world. The practical advantage is that most clients that reach a point in life where they can afford a double rifle are probably closer to 60 years of age than they are 20 years of age. Now, Unfortunately, life has a way of not necessarily rewarding us all with age, so as, as we get a little older, eyes tend to get a little worse. So it makes sense that a client use some type of optic aid, if you will. I'd say more often than not today, most of our clients are at least opting for a double rifle with the red dot sight. And they're really kind of modern marvels. What they do, Mark, is, is although the dot is projected against a small glass or plastic lens inside the sight, they trick the eye a bit and they give the shooter the illusion that the dot is being projected onto the target much like you'd think of a laser pointing device. Now, that's not actually the case, but, but what it enables the shooter to do is to look beyond their traditional rear sight, beyond the front sight, and focus on the red dot at about the same distance the target is. So for those guys that are far-sighted, have difficulty seeing things up close, it really is a big help, not only in, in shooting things up close, but also in extending the effective range of a double rifle. Now, on small calibers, or smaller calibers, this is a 375 flange magnum here, really an ideal suited rifle for plains game hunt and also taking you up in through buffalo. The advantage here with an optic sight with a bigger scope is that for your stalking through the bush, for following up something wounded, You've got your traditional open sights with a large front bead, a nice shallow rear sight, but you've also got the additional scope that goes on and off very quickly with the claw mounts. So you're walking along, clients on a buffalo hunt, sees that mystical 60 inch kudu at 150 yards, he's not scrambling for another rifle. He turns his power to where he wants it, brings a rifle up, and he owns the kudu. Got an outstanding trophy. Well done. Nice old kudu bull. Thank you, Mark. Well, Chris, for the time being, with my youngish eyes, I'm going to stick with the iron sights. And I do have a feeling that as I get to 40 and over, I'll probably be getting in contact with you for a red dot sight. Yeah, I think that's in your future, Mark. <laughs>